to yield to the gentleman from Indiana, Mr. Young, for two minutes. The gentleman Quite. from Indiana is recognized for two minutes. Thank you, Madam Speaker. You know, I, I'm on record last night uh, uh, speaking to the Cut, Cap, and Balance Act of 2011, uh, what the many merits are of this legislation. I think it's, it uh, w is a fine bill, and uh, I commend its consideration to those on the other side of the aisle. But I have to say the debate surrounding Cut, Cap, and Balance uh, has a certain Alice in Wonderland character to it. It made me open up the old storybook uh, uh, just minutes ago and, and uh, recall a favorite passage. Recall Alice uh, asks, Would you tell me which way I ought to go from here? To which the cat responds, That depends a good deal on where you want to get. Alice then replies, I really don't care where. And then, of course, the cat says, then it doesn't much matter which way you go. You get the sense my good friends on the other side of the aisle don't really care where we go from here. They certainly don't care enough to put a specific plan for themselves. Unemployment remains at 9.2%. Investment in hiring remains sluggish all around this country, particularly in places like my southern Indiana district. Uncertainty reigns about future taxes, future interest rates. Uh, future inflation rates, all because Washington continues to spend way too much money, often on things we don't need, but also on important public programs. And we need to figure this out. We need to figure it out as a country. Our national debt is over $14 trillion. It's time we come forward with specific plans. Yet the other side still has no plan, seemingly no new ideas to offer to this debate, no solutions, only poll-tested rhetoric. The American people deserve more than this during this critical time. Our markets certainly are asking for more than this. Standard & Poor's on July 14th said, quote, we may lower the long-term rating on the U.S. if we conclude that Congress and the administration have not achieved a credible solution to the rising U.S. government debt burden and are not likely to achieve one in the foreseeable future. We need a plan. House Republicans have been putting forward plans. We put forward a plan already approved to close tax loopholes, something we've heard a lot about, in order to help create jobs by making the tax code flatter, fair, and simpler. I ask for uh, another minute of time. Uh, if I yield the gentleman yield. Another, an additional 15 seconds. All right. We need a plan from the president. We need more certainty restored to these markets. Let's reject this Alice in Wonderland sort of leadership. Don't bring me problems. I say to my colleagues, bring me solutions. One solution is the cap. Uh, cut and Balance Act, and uh, I commend it for your consideration. Thank you. Gentlemen, time's expired.